The future of buying and selling records online is changing before our very eyes. I've been following this small group of people that are trying to create the ultimate vinyl marketplace, and I think it might be here. I honestly can't believe this hasn't happened until now, especially for how the hobby's been going the past few years, but I want to tell you about what they've built and hopefully encourage you to give it a shot. I don't know about you guys, but I've been checking my discogs lately and some of the prices people are asking for the records I own are bonkers. I mean, some of these records do go for these prices regularly, which is their fair market price, but a lot of these are just price gouging. See, the problem with the hobby right now is there's a huge discrepancy between what the market says a record is worth and what people are actually willing to pay for it. People throw up records for crazy prices on Reddit, Discogs, eBay, and they just hope they can hook, line, and sinker some sucker to pay way more than most people are willing to pay. The past sales history is a little sketchy to find for some items, and it can take up to six months for some sales history to catch up on certain sites, and that's a problem when the market is fluctuating almost daily. This site was created as a way to combat that, and I think that it is brilliant. Now before I tell you about this site, Discogs is an amazing site, especially for cataloging your collection. I can't ever see a world where I don't use Discogs regularly as part of my online site rotation as a vinyl collector. That being said, it is not a perfect site and there are a lot of things that it's missing. Because it's the only real site of its kind, it hasn't really had competition, which means it has been comfortable, hasn't had the need to keep innovating itself. Since I started using it back in 2013, there's been almost no major updates to functionality or features. Some of these features are things that we as vinyl collectors probably won't be able to live without once we learn about them, and we'll be shocked that we live this long without them. Enter NASDISC, a solution to unconventional, scattered, and confusing buying and selling practices online. They're building a protected, transparent, anonymous, and easy to use marketplace so that buyers and sellers can both feel confident about their transaction. That is, confident that they aren't paying more than what the market dictates as a buyer, and confident as a seller that they're getting what they hope to get for the record that they own. It's basic supply and demand transparency with statistics that will back it up. NASDISC isn't a store, it's a marketplace that connects buyers and sellers in an extremely intuitive way. Originally, this site started as something called DiscOps, which got a lot of users interested in it. It basically said, hey, if you have this record on your Discogs want list and you want it for X price, let us know and we'll send you an alert immediately when it goes up for that price so that you can go purchase it. It's a great concept, but they figured out a way to continue the process and automate it even more. The difference here is that you don't have to check your phone to get that good deal. This is actually the spark that ignites the flame and allows you to immediately get that record you want for what you said you'd pay for it. Showing everyone transparent sales data up to the minute will allow for this wild west of records that's happening to dissipate and buyers to be confident that they're paying what they should. I personally know these guys who are making this site. I've been talking to them, giving them suggestions on behalf of the vinyl community of what kind of things this site might benefit in having and offering. I'm not being paid to talk about this site. I genuinely believe this is a tool that will significantly improve all of our buying and selling online. And if enough of us give it a shot, I really think this could take off. So while the site is still in the early stages of collecting sales data, the blueprint is totally there. So let me explain to you the problems that the site is solving, how it works, and maybe you'll give it a shot. Problem one, like I mentioned, is finding the actual fair market price of records. And NASDISC uses an order book with asks and bids. Allowing users to see the lowest ask and the highest bid allows for full transparency on both sides of the equation. I'll get into that more when I explain how the site works. An order book structure is really interesting for something like vinyl because it allows for sellers to immediately liquidate whatever records they have if there are people that want it. It also gives buyers a chance to see what other people are willing to spend on it to know what they should be imagining this record is valued at in the aftermarket. Discops showed people the alerts, but this actually allows you to get the records you want when someone jumps on your bid. The second problem is that Discogs UI is a little confusing. It can be complicated, especially for people newer to the hobby, to navigate through all the releases to find the exact release that you want, and the pricing and shipping options are all over the place, especially international, but that's a whole nother subject. Nasdisk aims to have flat transparent shipping fees. At first, the website's going to be US only, but they have immediate plans as soon as it starts to take off to expand to other countries and keep that flat fee mentality. Discogs recently changed their shipping policies and it's really confusing. This is going to streamline it. Nasdisk is also going to streamline all of the release pages. So when you go on Discogs, there's a ton of information and it's a really good source of that. But as a buyer and seller, you don't necessarily need all of that cumbersome information. They give you exactly the information you need and want as a buyer or seller to make the transaction as easy as possible, taking out all the extra BS. Also, pictures of the releases and variants are very accessible and, and easy to see, which makes the experience a lot cleaner. And the third problem, maybe the biggest one, is that Discogs connects buyers. However, they don't have anything to do with the buying and selling. If something goes wrong, you still need to go through PayPal. 
NASDAQ is claiming that they're going to make sure every single transaction is a clean, happy one for both parties, and they're gonna take responsibility if something goes wrong. As a buyer, you can still use PayPal on the site, so you do have an extra added layer of protection if need be, but as a seller, you use Stripe. But let's say, for example, you buy a $300 record. The seller's a novice seller, they send it in a bubble mailer, it gets absolutely wrecked in shipping. What you would do is you would send a note to NASDAQ and they would rectify it for you. It's much better than waiting for a multi-week dispute through PayPal that sometimes can end in frustration for both sides. So how the site works is it's very simple and streamlined. Like I said, the front page will show you some featured releases, but ultimately the bread and butter is going to be searching for the album you're looking for and finding it easily. When you navigate to the release that you're interested in, instead of just having a whole bunch of options like eBay having 50 different listings, it's all right there for you. The entire order book of asks and bids is right there for you to see. And like I said, they are planning to have up-to-date, minute-to-minute price history, and that part's gonna take a little bit of time. It'll take some weeks or months of people using the site to start generating that data, but I think that the fact that it's already ready to go is extremely exciting for buyers and sellers alike. So the way it works is that when a buyer places a bid, which is what they're willing to pay for a record, they set up a future payment. Because of this, there's no inflating the numbers with crazy things because it's tied directly to your funds. If some seller's like, I'll sell for that price, that transaction happens. You agree to this by prepaying without the money leaving your funds until a seller is selling the record you want for that price. On the flip side, a seller will have an ask. They'll say, this is what I am looking to sell this record for. So if you go and you're like, I'll pay that, you can immediately buy it. This makes records sell for what they're actually worth, what people are really willing to pay. It's a tangible thing because stakes are involved. It doesn't really matter who's selling it or where it comes from. All that matters is that the item that you're getting is legitimate and protected through the site, and it's a quick and easy transaction. I really think that this is game changing for both buyers and sellers. This might sound a little complicated as I explain it, but if you go to the site and play around, it'll make sense very quickly. And the cool part is, if you have a bunch of records for sale up on Discogs, eBay, Amazon, whatever it may be, if you email the site, they said that they will import your list for you. So that's a hassle-free way as a seller to sell your stuff on this site and give it a shot because they're gonna do the work for you to get it on there. So for sellers, the way that they process payments is gonna be through Stripe. Stripe is an extremely reputable, well-known credit card processing entity. They've seen, I think, 97% of credit cards in the world. So your information is not stored on NASDAQ, it's stored through Stripe. Using Stripe allows for the site to figure out if the payment was successful, and it also allows sellers to cash out at any time. As a buyer though, I mentioned you can still use PayPal if you'd like. I've noticed that on like the Reddit vinyl collectors forum, there are constantly people saying, I wanna buy this record and here's what I'll pay. Well, this site is solving that dilemma. This is making it so much easier and more streamlined for people to buy and sell online. And I truly think that this could be huge if everyone gives it a shot. If you're a buyer, browse around, see if you see any good deals. If you're a seller, see if they'll import your list from any other site that you use it and give it a shot. This tool was just created and it's just launched, but I really believe that in six months if this takes off, there is gonna be such a change and a shift in how happy people are with their buy and sell activity when it comes to records online. And the best part is the team is super smart and receptive to new ideas, whether it's, I think this should be this way or feature suggestions, they're intelligent and they can code it and they will because they want to make the ultimate tool for vinyl collectors because they're collectors themselves. There's no affiliate link to sign up for with me. This is not some kind of like, oh, I get a kickback. I really think this site is going to be huge and I want it to. And if you guys put your faith in them too, this could be a game changer for the vinyl community. So what I'd love you to do is check out the site and leave a comment with your thoughts. If you have suggestions on ways it can improve, if you think it's an awesome idea, please share that as well. I'm sure they want to be vindicated for all their hard work over the past few months. But yeah, NASDAQ is the future of buying and selling in my mind, and I hope everyone else can understand it. And this video helped make it a little clearer as to why this is solving a problem that the vinyl community probably doesn't even know it has. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope that you learned something. I hope you enjoy using the site. And congrats to the NASDAQ team for getting this off the ground. Let's see uh, how this goes in the next few months. Hope you guys find some good deals or make some good sales. More content coming soon. Take it easy.